Amit is joining us in Charlotte, North Carolina. Amit, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hey, Ken. How are you? I am living the dream, sir. How are you? I'm doing well. Good. Um, hey, I, I just wanted to call in and uh, honestly just get clarity um, on a lot of things uh, in my life. Uh, just to give you a brief background, if I can. Um, sure. I'm a first immigrant in this country. Uh, I came on a particular kind of visa, so my employment history has been kind of a little wacky where at times I was allowed to work, where at times I was not allowed to work, just how the immigration worked. And because of that, I have been just kind of winging through different careers, kind of doing things that I didn't really want to do, have been part of corporate uh, lifestyle for the last two and a half years. Um, I mean, I'm doing the job. Uh, do I love it? I don't. Uh, it, you know, pays the bills and everything. So, so yeah, I mean, I mean I'm, I've been just going through years and years and years of just uh, trying to find the path for me. I do know uh, certain things about me, the deep things or even uh, I think um, you talk about talent, passions and missions. Mm-hmm. I have somewhat an idea, but just need help with yeah. clarity and yeah. direction Hit me with to that. take. Let's break the idea down. What's the idea? Uh, I mean, first of all, I love uh, building relationships with people, like, um, you know, making connections and um, encouraging with them. I have a over, um, over, like, I'm overly empathetic. I'm really compassionate. So I always get into the zone of uh, just trying to find different ways of uh, helping people or serving people. Yeah. Um, All right. So let's and, pause there for a second. So that's really sure. good. I want you to be confident from this point of the conversation. I want you to be mm-hmm. confident because I think in some ways you're calling me just for confidence because you're dealing with some doubt and I get it. Uh, been there. But as I've heard you just share about yourself, to me, It feels like there's a blinking neon arrow pointing to doing the work of caregiving, maybe advising, maybe a combination. I'm passionate about advising people. I'm passionate about caregiving. And it is people, people, people. I mean, you have people skills, you're good with people, and you like working with people. I think that's really obvious. Is that true? That's true. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I feel like we've got a big giant era, as I said, pointing to that advising, caregiving space. So who are the people you would most like to advise or in some way give care to? Maybe it's customer service type work. Maybe it's uh, advising, counseling type work. I'm not sure, but I think your heart knows the answer. So without worrying about how it sounds or how I get there, why don't you just tell me what you really feel? Who would you most want to help? What's the problem they have? How will you help them with the problem? Um, I think that's that's where the issue is. Like, I um, caregiving is something that I didn't think about. Advising and teaching, like, I get deeply passionate about telling people um, about their godly identity. Like, I like that's something, especially with like kids, teenage kids, okay. or even like younger kids. Great. Um, so, so it's so it's now it's more on the instruction side of things. It's more teaching, right? Not caregiving. Yep. Yes or no? Yep. Okay. Good. See, because all I'm trying to do is all I'm doing is walking you through what you're telling me. So, with that high empathy. And high compassion. That's why I started thinking caregiving. But the reality is, if you're going, Ken, I would rather teach. I would love. To, I'd rather communicate and connect. Uh, then that makes sense too. So again, I know you know the answer, but you're afraid to say it fully. But it's just you and me here. Forget everybody else watching and listening. Forget them for a second. Who would you teach? Who would you instruct? Who would you advise? Tell me who. Who are they? Describe the people. Mainly people in need. Um, I in need of I, what? That's that's what I'm. No, you got I it. Don't know. Yeah, you do. You it, already gave me a clue. Like, it's either. Um, I mean, like I said, I uh, coming from my own journey. I I had been lost for such a long time. Um, I mean, if I can sidetrack just a little. Um, 
I didn't uh, grow up in the Christian faith. Uh, I'm from India. Right. Grew up in a different religion, and I got radically saved almost eight years ago. And since then, uh, what God had revealed about me um, is something that I'm deeply passionate about. I see a lot of people struggling with their identities. It's yes. funny because on a personal level, I'm pretty secured in who I am yeah. and what God says about me. But I think professionally, it's been harder. Like, how do I yeah. e- equate that yep. in, and use that into the professional world and right. um, so here's what i want you to do so here's the deal you're you're sort of at an impasse and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to give you my brand new get clear career assessment okay you've been oh, listening to my you. show long enough to call me so i have created an assessment with the team it's a digital assessment take you about 15 minutes and it's going to reveal for you your top talents Things you do best is going to reveal to you the top passions, the work you love to do the most, okay? And then you are going to get your number one mission result, the results that drive you, okay? And I can tell you right now, it's probably influence, all right? But you take the assessment, and then you can call the show again once you've got that. But it's going to point you to professional possibilities out there, but I think it's going to point you into the area of teaching, and you're still struggling with something and you say you you very clear and very comfortable with who you are in Christ, and yet you're struggling with confidence. Because I think it's going to show, but we'll see what the assessment says, because it's going to answer your questions. You're going to answer your own questions, all right? But I think it's in the okay. area of teaching, preaching, counseling in the church, the evangelical space. feels very obvious to me, and you're going to have to get confident with that, that God gave you the ability to do it. I can't do that for you. Take the assessment. Hey, Amanda, let's give him a link and a code to the Get Clear Career Assessment. For everybody else, it's 30 bucks uh, at KenColma.com. It's phenomenal. And let's get his report. And if he wants to call back in uh, when he gets his report, then we can walk through the steps uh, to move forward. But it's right there in front of him. 